makes me worthy because I was addicted to drugs that makes me worthy because I was a liar that makes me worthy because I was a backbiter that makes me worthy you'll confuse them they'll say now what type of logic is that you let them know that Jesus gave his life for those who were not perfect So all these perfect folk who ain't never messed up, who ain't never been through nothing, get out my way and let me get to the master. She didn't give up. Instead, she was persistent. She knew that even though this man is a Jew and I'm a Gentile, my daughter is messed up. My child needs what this Jew has to offer. When you have great faith, it moves God into action. Great faith moves God. There were a number of things that stood out in this passage that she did that moved God into action. Number one, she was short and straight to the point. She didn't have time for this long, drawn out, drama presentation. Oh God, please, over here, with the lavender top on, over here. She didn't have time for this drawn out introduction to the master. Verse 22 says, have mercy on me, thy son of David. My daughter has a demon. Verse 25 says, help me. Number two, she was humble. Being humble is a condition of the heart. The Bible says, humble yourself in the spirit of the Lord and he will lift you. Number three, she was fervent. She showed great emotion. It wasn't an external emotion, but it came from her innermost being. All of a sudden, she became a worshiper. No matter what she was before she got in his presence, when she got in his presence, she became a worshiper. Can I prove it? Verse 25. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Next, she was desperate. Disparity will move God into action. People want to pray. A one minute prayer, but want a lifetime of blessings. She was desperate. The word desperate comes from the word despair. 
It's when a person is overcome by a sense of defeat. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps she had tried everything that was of her knowledge. Just like the lady with the issue of blood. She had gone to the exorcism. They couldn't do nothing for a daughter. She tried taking her to the doctors. They couldn't do nothing for her daughter. She tried taking her to the sorcerer. They couldn't do nothing for her daughter. All of a sudden, she found herself at the feet of Jesus. <laughs> ah, my God, I got blessed right there. She, she, she found herself at the feet of Jesus. Oh, God. Lastly, she was worshipful, respectful, and acknowledged who Jesus was. Verse 22 again. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord thy son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. 25. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. People of God, on this Sunday that we've deemed unity day. We need God's help. We need him in our church. We need him in our families. We need him in our homes. We need him in our schools. It's easy, it's easy, it's easy to go home and close the door and say that it's not my house. It's not my child. It's not on my front porch. It's not my kids. It's not my community. It's not in my area. <laughs> 